Okay, combined variation. That's the last one we're going to talk about. Uh, many formulas involve several variations in one, in one formula. So below is an example of that. So the first sentence gives us our basically our equation. So the weight that a horizontal beam with a rectangular cross section can safely support varies jointly. So when I see those words right there, I think y equals k or z equals, so we need three variables, z equals kxy. So that's the very varies jointly. Okay, as the width and the square of the depth. So the width is going to be my x, and the square of the depth is going to be my y. Okay, of the cross section. And inversely, okay, inversely, when you see that word, you should think k over x as the length of the beam. And our x in, this, in that case would be the length of the beam. And so now you just combine these two formulas. So our formula would look something like this. So the weight of a horizontal beam, um, uh, the weight that can be su safely supported, I'm going to call W, is um, jointly, uh, varies jointly with the width. And we've got to come up with something else for width since I already used um, weight. So maybe we'll come up with, uh, well, we'll just come up with something else for weight. So um, we'll call maybe H for horizontal beam. So, or B for beam. Yeah, that'll work. So B for beam. So B is equal to K times your width and the square of your depth. So D squared. Oops. Okay. And inversely proportional, which just means to divide by L, which we'll call the length of the beam. And so there's how you combine the two, the two, two formulas. So if we go in here, and we need to find the constant of proportionality first, and so I did the beam weight is kw d squared over the length of the beam. And so um, if you read that first sentence, okay, if a four by four inch beam, so um, 10 feet long, so it's uh, four inches wide by four inches deep. So that's going to be k times four times four squared uh, with a, a length of 10 feet. Okay, and, and so you keep going. And I, I had to push pause because I don't like something they did here in this problem and uh, we'll talk about it here in a second but so then our um, load um, and they called it L I guess is 256 I called my load B <laughs> um, so here's the deal with this problem I, what I don't like about it is it's got a four inch by four inch um, cross-sectional beam with a 10 foot long uh, beam. So you've got inches and feet in the same formula. And maybe that's the case. Maybe this particular formula um, allows you to mix inches and feet. But typically you want all your units the same. Um, we're just going to go with, with it as being okay. Because we're just going to, we're really just worried about working with the formula anyway. Um, it depends on the situation. And it may very well be that that uh, this particular formula uses that. So anyway, now we need to find out k. So you'd multiply both sides by 10 to eliminate the denominator. And so 2,560 equals uh, k times 4 squared times 4 is 64. And so then I know k would be 2,560 divided by 64. And that's 40. 
So that's our constant. So now we have a new equation. And so our uh, beam is 40 times the width times the depth squared divided by the length. And so now it gives us a problem to solve. So what load can be safely supported? So we're going to, and I called it B for the load. Um, can be safely supported by a beam made of the same material with a width of four. Um, whoops, excuse me, not the wrong one. Width of four inches, a depth of six inches. So load is equal to 40 times the width of four, depth of six, and a length of 16 feet. And so my load is 40 times 4 times 6 squared divided by 16 and that's 360 and so there you have it and we're done <laughs> so you found out the load with the new with the new parameter set and so that's basically all you need to know about uh, variation um, so good luck. If you have some problems, let me know. These, these ones that combine several variations are tough. Uh, but, you know, break the tough problems into e little smaller manageable chunks. So good luck and see you next time.